Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Hey YouTube fam, what's up, what's up? Today we're gonna do is a pot roast and we're gonna add some potatoes to our pot roast. This is what we're working with. We got two nice sized pot roasts, okay? Now, not only do we have the pot roast, we have two large onions that we went and sliced up as well. And um, I got my daughter Leah, she's helping me out here. And then we have some Nora's beef bouillon seasoning, some kosher salt, and we have some coarse ground black pepper along with that we got some of this here Spain spices garlic and herb seasoning along with Spain spices sweet basil and we have some of this here parsley flakes and we got some of this oregano basil and tomato seasoning you can find this seasoning at Ross we're gonna go ahead and put together a pot roast rub seasoning for you and we're gonna do that for you right now Y'all look at this here rub seasoning. It came together so good. I'm telling you, you got to try this here recipe. Now we're gonna take up some vegetable oil and we're gonna go ahead and spread it on our meat, rub it in real good. Then we're gonna add some of that homemade roast beef rub seasoning to our meat and we're gonna repeat the same step for the other side. So don't go nowhere because you're gonna miss this here video. Try this roast beef rub seasoning the next time you get ready to cook a pot roast. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice stock pot and we're gonna add in some vegetable oil on high heat. What we're gonna do now is sear these beefs up so we can lock in the flavors. I'm telling you y'all, it's gonna be fantastic. Check it out. The flavors in this beef is locked and loaded. We ready, y'all. Now I want you to get a cup of water because we're going to pour some water down up in that pot so we can get some of this flavoring right from up the bottom of this here pot. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add in our beef. And once we've added in our beef, we're going to go there and do something special.
Now we're taking our two large sliced onions and adding it to the pot at this particular point in time. Then after we've done this, we want to go ahead and take some water and cover our beef. Once your beef is covered, we're gonna go to the next step. What I have here is some Lipton onion soup mix, some beefy Lipton onion soup mix. I forgot to add this to the pot. So take that lid back off and add the Lipton onion soup mix. Now, once you got that incorporated, just go ahead and stir it in real quick. All right, so um, put your lid back on the pot once that's, once that's stirred in. Allow it cook for at least around about a good two hours and 25 minutes. After the two hours and 25 minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and make us some flour slurry with this here and thicken up our gravy. I used a half a cup of flour and one cup of water to make our slurry to thicken up our gravy. I want you to go ahead and pour the slurry inside the gravy and stir at the same time and try not to make dumplings out of your slurry. So continue to stir. Now you can go ahead and season up your gravy as well. So I got some of our roast beef rub seasoning and I'm adding it to this here um, pot. And now you can add you some Salt, if it's not, if it's if it need more salt, you can add more pepper. Add whatever type of seasonings you like to season up your pot roast. I'm telling you, it will turn out perfect. You will love it. All right. Now, once we've got that done, we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes. So take you some potatoes and just quarter your potatoes in nice slices and add it to your pot. And only thing we want to do now is make these potatoes. Thin, um, tender. Get your potatoes tender and make sure that your beef is fork tender. Okay, because your potatoes is the last thing you want to, to cook and it's going to also help thicken up your gravy as well because of the starch that's in your potato. So, I'm telling you right now, y'all, try this recipe. You will love it. I'm telling you this is down home good cooking. It reminds you of mama and grandma them. Love y'all. Try this recipe. Don't go nowhere.
Somebody say, Ray, I want you to fix me up a roast beef plate, but I want some macaroni and cheese, some potatoes, rice, and cabbage. And I say, wait a minute, that's a lot of starch that's on that plate. They say, man, just fix me the plate. I'm going to give them what they want. I, first of all, I want to say thank you guys for watching this here video. Please watch these videos. Subscribe for more videos. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.